Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fallout 4, marked for termination. We're using a Fallout 4 mod that was ported from the PC in the Terminator universe. Basically, we're going to be hunted by Terminators in this playthrough. It's going to be a lot of fun. I also added the quick start option to skip the intro scenes. So hopefully that makes it a little easier to digest. played through the game two times fully now. This is my third full playthrough. War. But I've restarted it more times than I can count. <coughs> nice, nice, nice. So we skip the scene with Kellogg also. I'll put J Connor. Eh, I'll just put Connor for now. So I don't want to be named not uh, John. Sorry. Dendy for fun. I do like melee builds. Try and stay away. But I really do enjoy my melee builds. I like charisma builds. So okay. Let's let's try and keep it as lore friendly as possible. John Connor was I mean he's probably lucky too, to be honest. He was John Connor's most likely intelligent. Lucky. He stayed alive so long, but also proficient. Um, yeah, let's keep melee attacks low for now. I guess I can build it up later on. Um, but I'd like to give him a decent perception, a decent health pool, charisma high because he is able to lead, right? intelligence because he's fighting terminators agility for the action points and luck because he's John Connor only thing is I'm not able to edit my face using the quick start unfortunately God, why would Vault Tech do this? So I guess I just look generic for this playthrough. Come on! There has to be a release! mind to doing the intro scene if I could customize how he looks instead of being generic but 
It is what it is. Drunk removal. Roaches. Wow. All right. Giant roaches. What the hell? Anything useful in here? I I'll admit I haven't played this in a minute. I don't remember anything useful here. Let's run through. I think it's only when you get to the overseer's area. There's the wreck terminal. Put a shortcut on that. You already did. Pistol. Ammo. Alternate pistol, come back for that later. I will definitely look into editing his appearance via mods later on. Is you know, I like the quick start, but could I at least edit how he looks? Saved like what? Five minutes? <coughs> Wrong one. Probably 
waste in the bullets. That didn't work. Now in terms of companions, I'm leaning towards more of the sneaky ones, such as Kate, McCready, definitely not strong, or the robotic ones, um, but we'll see. Sure, there's a mod too. Just to get out of here. Please stand back. And as far as I understand, I won't be attacked by a Terminator until I'm at least level five. There's that. Anything else useful here? Another vault suit for my companion. Yes. Yes. Ah, here we go. Alright, so this mod is pretty good then. Go through the faces really quick. Going with this one. But. Dark brown. The style. The professor. How would John Connor look? Like a mess. Yeah, this is the John Connor look. Maybe Shaggy Suave, not bedraggled. The guy's getting hunted by Terminators. Skin tone. I gotta go with the darker colors. Extras. Where'd the mold? 
lined up. Alright, let's keep going. Ah, he's good. Muscular. This guy's jacked. We're done. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. I should add funny or interesting loading screens. That would be the next uh, mod that I'll add to the list. Scavenging. Oh, come with me if you want to live. Ah. Uh. Sucks that there's no voice acting on the PC version. What's going on? Generation 5 synths from the future have traveled back in time to assassinate you. You are marked for termination. My mission is to protect you. Alright. How do you advance this text? Okay, you're... no, I can't believe this is happening. Even though I asked for this to happen. Focus on the matter. We must leave this location immediately. They are coming. They? I thought it was, I thought it was only one at a time. I was hoping it would be one at a time. That's crazy. Guy's coming with a minigun. Hey there. Have you sustained injuries? Oh, I wish he had voice acting. Why am I being targeted by assassins? June 17, 2097. Dr. Edward E. Baum will activate an advanced computer AI called RadNet. Its stated purpose to serve as a viable successor to self-appointed U.S. President John Henry Eden and restore the enclave and the U.S. government. Uh, this is a little too much. Mm -hmm. July 23rd, 2297, Radnet will become self-aware turn on its creators and begin waging a war to enslave mankind. Uh-huh. <laughs> December 10th, 2097, commonly known as Retribution Day, Radnet will become strong enough to launch a devastating global offensive against mankind. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah, it's missing the voice acting. There will be no safe haven on Earth, the one known as the sole survivor of Vault 111. You will lead mankind to victory in the war against Radnet. John Connor. Connor Thendy. Uh-huh. To ensure this doesn't happen, Radnet has sent agents back through time to kill you. These are Generation 5 Synth Infiltration Units, Model C-8000. C-8000. Terminators were... T-800s. <laughs> that was the Arnold Schwarzenegger one. So how do you fit into all this? I am also Generation 5 Synth. 
a C-8000, I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over metal skeleton designed for infiltration and extreme combat. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Modos. But I am not your enemy. My mission is to protect you. I was captured by the human resistance against Rednet and reprogrammed to be your protector. So we got Arnold here. A bonus companion. I mean, that'll definitely help. I have more personal questions to ask you. Can you ask him personal questions? What do you require? What can you tell me about these Gen 5 synth assassins? The Generation 5 synth model C-8000 is a highly versatile cybernetic organism designed for infiltration and extreme com- yeah, we went over this. Uh-huh. Incapacitation followed by evasive action is advised over brute force confrontation. Okay, so he's telling me to run. Be aware that the C-8000 units will likely try to impersonate other people in the Commonwealth in order to fool you. That's cool. I myself am in Generation 5 since, but I have been reprogrammed to be your protector. Yep. Understood. Let's continue. Can you please leave for now? You've seen the future. What about Sean? I am unauthorized to answer a question if there is a high probability that my answer will drastically alter the course of time. They didn't do that in the Terminator movies, did they? I didn't think they knew what to ask at the time. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Unable to comply, request tonight. That they definitely did in the movies. Alright, I'm fine. Let's go. Then we must keep moving. Let's get the sanctuary. I'm still level one. So I don't think I'm gonna get attacked yet. Whoa, whoa. Sanctuary. It is this way. Is that a bald spot on your head, man? No. Codsworth, where you at? Ah, man. As I live and Yes, it is. Codsworth? You're... you're still here. So... other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way?
a better She's place. In a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire. What's the distraction? Cut it's been with? ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Right on the money. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. <laughs> Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. No time for that. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Charisma. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Stay, Stay with, with me, pal. Me. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, okay. sir. Pesky like Terminator? neighborhood dogs. And mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right, yes, sir. Lead the way. Round two, sir. Sir. There's a special what magazine by his crib. Oh, poppy pen. I'll take that. Coming, buddy. Oh, you are not ready for what you will find. There we go. I honestly think charisma. What's my carry? Can clear this place out. Do I get the workshop ability now or nice? <laughs> Well, I 
already had two of these. Gotta cook this up. It's a cooking station out here. I think I'm gonna stop it right here with my man Arnold. He's covering me. He looks a lot like Deacon in some ways. Anyway, uh, I will continue in the next episode, clear out all of Sanctuary, uh, and get moving to the next area. I will definitely be remodeling Sanctuary, for sure. Uh, more in the next one. Take care, guys.